Hello everyone, and welcome to Darkseid RP's Mod Overview. Today's topic, the 5.5 update. We've been down a little longer than expected due to a few issues brought up from Grapeshot's recent patches. So we decided to take advantage of the extra time and bring you a few new things. As usual, this won't cover every single thing we've changed, but will instead cover some of the larger topics. First up is a largely requested feature. Minimum Wind. Atlas's speed ranges from 1 to 12. On Dark Side, it will now range from 6 to 12. Gone are the days of having a great time playing the game only to be ruined by a 3 hour journey home with zero wind. Next, let's talk tomes. We've lowered the cost of tomes pretty much across the board, and we've also added unidentified tomes to the world, which can be appraised like you would any other unidentified item, and use it as normal. These tomes, whilst a bit rare, can be any tome in the game. Next up, we have something new for pallets that we're calling the cargo system. This will be a huge quality of life improvement for resource traders. The cargo system allows for you to create a bundle of resources from any raw resource in the game. For example, you can bundle 10,000 ironwood into a bundle of wood. Once the bundle is created, the only way to know what type of wood it is, is to unbundle it at your local port. Why can't you unbundle this while you're out at sea, you ask? Two reasons. First, to prevent any combat exploitation as there will be a weight reduction, and second, to prevent pirates from knowing exactly what they're stealing. This will severely lower unloading and loading times of major shipments. Have you ever tried unloading 100,000 wood before? Well, now you'll be able to do that with ease. Now, we already have shops where you can sell things, but we thought, why not add a shop where you can buy things? Introducing the broker. This is a new placeable shop where you can set up requests to purchase things. Toss your coin in its inventory, set up what you'd like to buy and for how much, and then set it to active. Now, there are some worries that this would take too much away from trade RP, and we do share those concerns. So this shop will have a large cooldown and is meant to either facilitate your existing trade or to supplement it when you're offline. Next, let's rapid fire some animal changes. All birds now have the fortitude buff. Sorry, no more crow intelligence min-maxing. The Shire has been rebalanced as it was just way too strong before. The bear will no longer gather fiber and thatch. That will instead now be done by cattle. All non-gather riding tames have had their carry weight decreased. And frogs and rats are now available from vendors. Whilst we're talking animals, we've also completely revamped the Beast Mastery Tree. New costs, new specialist roles, and new mechanics. This is one of the ideas we are getting to test ahead of 6.0, so here we go. Players that hold masteries in this tree may now train other players in specific skills. The lessons only last one minute, so they cannot be sold on the market or left in mailboxes. This is meant to allow actual training and lessons in roleplay for players interacting in person with other players. Master Hunters can teach Nature's Cry, Nature's Touch, and an improvement buff for each. Master Breeders can teach Apprentice Breeders how to breed chicken, sheep, rabbits, and cats. This is the only way that children in the game can learn breeding. Specialists can give writing lessons for animals they have specialized in. These lessons allow players to ride advanced animals without having the required handling skill. Now onto structures and ships. Good news, stucco is now paintable. We've also added a few new decor items, such as anchors, shields, or placing down some cannonballs. As you may have already have heard, we're adding a variation to the Brigantine called the Armored Brig. This will move a bit slower, but has a large resistance buff right off the bat. So if you're headed into combat, you do not want to be facing one of these. Speaking of scary sights to see, let's introduce the Long Nines. 
These can only act as forward chasers due to their insane range. Place a few of these down to help chase down any would-be fleeing ships. Next, let's talk swivels. That's right, they're back. Previously, the grape shot ammo would pierce any wall, plank, gun port, and would pretty much one-shot anybody aboard. Now, the grape shot acts like a proper projectile instead of bypassing collision. There will also be new ammo types with the swivel, such as a mini chain shot and mini cannonballs. And last up is contraband. Drug cultivation is now available, all drug contraband drugs are now obtainable, and all tier 3 medical tomes are now available. As a reminder, when we relaunch the season for 5.5, it will be considered a continuation, rather than a season wipe. All players will have the option to return to their stories with the same character, living in the same life and full memory of their Season 5 events. A catastrophic storm simply decimated our world, reducing buildings to rubble, changing entire land masses, and in some case, taking the lives of the friends who will not be returning. In order to facilitate an easier return to our stories, we'll be boosting the starting level for all players, increasing rates and performing other quality of life adjustments to throw us right back into the roleplay. The choice is yours. Return with your friendships and reputations intact, or start a new adventure on a brand new character and try something new. Hoist the colors, it's almost time. See you soon.